what it do surprise shoddy crew so it is absolutely beautiful outside today and um i have tried to record a video two times and i knew like nah that's 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 not how we come in <laughs> so um i took like a little break and came out the house and you know got talking and stuff and just had a super pleasant encounter with the folks where i was just at like ah, really glad i got out the house but i want to tell y'all a couple of things this is going to be kind of like a drive by um style and remember like when you're prophetic and you're sensitive in spirit sometimes like you'll be picking up on stuff and you haven't pinpointed what it is yet you don't know what it is yet and, and that could cause like irritability and stuff so you just you always gotta be mindful of that okay but um it's a lot going on so like i feel it in the spirit so i definitely want to share this um i sometimes forget that i'm still supposed to release words for people and i might be out of that season out of that place and um the way god shows it to me is so that i understand what he's saying but i think for me um when i dream certain things it's easier for me to just kind of be like oh uh, -uh nope and just dismiss it but i have to remember what i'm doing on youtube so there are exes trying to come back um i dreamt and this was some days ago that one of mine from a very 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 long time ago um he wrote me and, and the dream felt so real i thought it was in real life like i and i have i know i haven't been sharing my dreams like how i usually do um so in this particular dream though i can't believe you've been following me on here again like for this long and you haven't reached out to me like you haven't tried to talk to me and I didn't respond back or nothing. Like, again, I thought this was in real life. So I'm looking through my Facebook messages like, <clears throat> when did he send this? But I had dreamt it, right? But the dream felt real. Um, so I don't know who that's for. And, and I'm seeing a lot of like, they're trying to come back. They're always trying to come back. And and, and it don't have to be like a person, y'all. Like, um, it could be anything from your past. Anything that you broke up with. Because I do feel like I broke up with the devil. And he's crazy. You know, like, that just came to me while I was talking. Like, you know how you can have, like, a like a crazy, crazy ex that just won't leave you alone? That's how the devil be acting. That's He delusional. He crazy. He, he crazy and not the good crazy because God is crazy about me, but he's not crazy. You get what I'm saying? The devil's crazy. My face looks so swole. <laughs> um, so, okay. Anyways, um, so, also, my the narcissistic ex so when certain things are going on god will just highlight narcissism to me period and i think i've told you this once before for those of us who have gone through like extremely abusive narcissistic situations um you know we go through a phase where like we we study up on narcissism and we study up on the jezebel spirit and stuff and then you can learn all these tactics and stuff on you know how to deal with them and interact with them whether it's romantic family work whatever right right like you learn all these tactics those are the same things that you have to apply to the enemy and his minions right but i've been hearing just like the mean stuff that he used to say to me like i've been hearing that and i'm like i don't want to remember that i don't want to think about that and um just like, i can i can feel like I can feel it trying to like pull me back. Does that make sense? Like, so don't fall for that neither. Um, what else? It really is a lot going on. Like, I was looking at the news headlines on my work computer, like, what in the world? Why is all that happening? You know? So, um, yet and still, even in the midst of all that, um, God is still doing some wonderful things. And so let's let's flip this. That's just inside the warfare. Um, which my day is really indicative of that because I had um, a little spiritual situation earlier and um, it could have like made me feel the way it could have, you know, and, and I not left the house and saw how beautiful it really is outside and all this. Like, I really could let the devil get to me. I could have let it get to me, but I knew in that moment, like, no. So, um, this is 
ultimately how the enemy is coming in this hour because of what God is doing in this hour. So what happened was now I don't I don't want to tell y'all what happened. It the enemy is doing like sneak attacks, which we know he all he he do that a lot anyways. Um but I'm like already delivered from fear and different things. So it it really did kind of catch me off guard, but um the dark spirit the entity whatever it was waved its hand like over over my face to like see if i was asleep and and i saw it do that like so obviously i wasn't asleep um and it was literally trying to fight me like in the spirit but it felt physical like trying to fight me and y'all know i didn't been hit by a demon before and so this one didn't show its face and not only that like i was actually like fighting back and i wasn't scared like my adrenaline was up but not because i was scared right i was fighting when running off but i was fighting back and didn't show his face and then when i was fighting and trying to like open my mouth to you know like rebuke it like my mouth was like shut up like i was like oh god not again you know because that I, that's happening before in dreams but even then i wasn't scared i was very aware during the entire attack very very aware like to the point to where i was like how did this even get in here like you you get what i'm saying and um so then it was all in my head and then at that point i felt like i was getting drugged like it was trying to make me like uh you know Rendered like unconscious to where i couldn't even think to like fight my way out of it but i was not giving up like i am not old meg like i was going to share the spiritual warfare videos that i made um in 2020 and i talked about getting delivered from fear and all that i'm not her and i don't be on here you know just for play player because it's cute like i get you and your man don't play with me and anybody else you try to come at me with in the spirit i don't do that so i i was fighting it off and then i was straight like it was like it was trying to drag me in it was i really ain't never experienced nothing like that and oh me would have been like god why like why but i knew he was letting me see like how much stronger i am now and also just like how upset the enemy is so let's transition into why the time is now before i get into that i just want you to pay attention to like how i just described that encounter because for me it was like a spiritual but felt physical type of thing but that's really how all the attacks are regardless like one the enemy don't want to show himself two he be trying to see if you sleep sleep you know like less aware of what's going on or even less awake right he a coward in a clown like try me when i'm up try me when i want to see you why you always trying to want to see me when i'm not trying i'm not even worried about you like and y'all i was so happy like i'm almost certain i fell asleep like with a whole smile on my face okay so there's that okay so the time is now and god is illustrating that with something that's going on in my family what we just decided to do and how quickly it came together that don't never happen like i was like and the fact that we even got my daddy on board in agreement kind of surprised me right. want to do it for him and i think that's why he was so on board why it was so easy for him to be like let's go and him to even sponsor it like this is a whole word right here eating editing the video so the way that spiritual encounter went today that's like the structure of all spiritual attacks it ain't never like when you waiting for him when you ready for him right Secondly, the miracles and blessings and stuff that God is like really showing out with right now, it's because they're for him. So I was telling y'all, like, I think my daddy was so on board and willing to, you know, sponsor it and stuff because we wanted to do it for him. And that's the heart posture, right? So like all these miracles and things, it's because God knows that's where our heart is at. Like, it's for your glory. And Tasha Cobb, for your glory, fell over me the other night. And that ain't a song that oftentimes fall over me. Like, it used to a lot when I was in school again. He told me 2015 May, right? Um, and and I felt that and I really felt that and worshiped that night. Like I will do anything. Like you know what I'm saying? That's why God is turning up like that right now in this hour because our hearts are there. 
we tried to do this and i was telling my mom like hey you remember the last time we tried to do this i was like and we didn't go because of like the zika virus or something and um you know that was like real random and i had to google when did that happen because i was like watch this be 2015 2016 the reason i know is because god told me the harvest that i was getting was from that meg the seeds that meg planted okay um and not only that the year he told me to go back to specifically was 2016 so when i googled it i was like when did the zika virus happen 2015 2016 that's what it said i was like i'm not even surprised but it wasn't time to go back then like that was like something that was like such a like a freak accident like a freak little situation going on right it wasn't time to go and it wasn't time to experience it we desire to but it wasn't time now it's happening with such ease and it's like the time is now and and i pray that y'all feel like that and y'all understand that in y'all's lives stuff could have happened you could have been wanting to do it back then the time wasn't back then but the time is now and the enemy knows that so all he can do is get you to mess it up which is what we were talking about yesterday right like get you to mess it up in your heart and in your mind you not go through with the plan you not to even do it right like which is what happened for me um the other month i was about to self-sabotage like whoa glad god didn't let me do that right so that's how he's coming that's how he's fighting you and and i'm telling you just like today like i could have just let that bother me i could have stayed in the house i had planned on doing something and it had me a little frazzled so i couldn't say what i had planned on saying or doing i couldn't do it and i had to get myself together and then i still did it fear keep me in the house today i wouldn't have got out here and been able to enjoy this beautiful weather i wouldn't have interacted with those lovely people like they were lovely you get what i'm saying and that's just a tactic of the enemy and you gotta know that and, and god don't give us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind like whatever just tried it i'm not scary meg anymore no matter how it may manifest so then i'm on snapchat looking at my memories and apparently on today last year i did a whole video that was like i was singing this song ha 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 devil i got away and in the video i like i I really be prophesying that'd be creeping me out a little bit right um and i was saying it don't matter like when you see this what you might have experienced today what you might have woke up to and i'm like not me talking to myself because of what happened this morning right but you got away and that's how i felt like they was trying to drug me and drag me in the spirit but i no, you're not right i'm gonna be like, making this video right and i'm understanding that too in a humble way so this is another word um people watch you people people watch us and and, and we got to focus on the the people who um you know don't mind sharing an encouraging word or letting us know they're here letting us know they're watching because that's been an important lesson for me but i've been dreaming folks spirits are like coming up to me and thanking me for like what i'm doing and i'm like yeah that's crazy because i don't think they would even tell me that in real life right for whatever the reason do you get what I'm saying? So that's another word. Like, um, that actually happened. Uh, I had dreamt this girl had thanked me, but then in real life, it was a different girl who said something to me. And I was like, does she watch my YouTube channel? Like, why is she saying that? You get what I'm saying? So now is not the time to waver or to falter or fade away in the things that you have been called to because God really is using you and you really are making an impact. Um, and it's crazy because the other morning I was watching something Stephanie had just released and she was talking about how her daughter's friend watches her channel. Okay, fast forward later in the day, my nephew texts us and he's like, my friends are making fun of um, y'all's YouTube. And I thought he meant Life of Mimo, but the picture he sent was one of my shorts on this channel. And I was like, making fun of? And he was like, yeah, he said it's really, really bad. And I was like, oh, you know, like, well, dang. And then he was like, oh, no, I got it wrong. They said, you're really bad, and they like the channel. And I was like, so shout out to the little homies, you know, thanks. But um, that's a, we really don't know. Like, Stephanie was saying it was her daughter's uh, friends that age. My nephew is in high school. I had told y'all that time he hopped on the live. And I was like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> What, what are you doing right but i know for me it's heavy on the be who you need it right 
be who you need it. And, and that's all I'm trying to do. Um, and I appreciate everybody that has been them, you know, along my, my journey. That's why I've never had a problem. Like, I let y'all know who I watch, who said what, if I remember all that, because it it helped me along the way. It's helping me along the way, whether you're older, younger, the same age, whatever. Like, that don't bother me. Like, we all need each other on this, right? So, that was a lot. And again, I think that's why I started it off as like, when, when you are prophetic, but when you are spiritually sensitive and you pick up on so much stuff, like, sometimes it just be like a lot because it's just a lot going on. Like, I'm picking up on warfare. I'm picking up on all this good stuff. Like, I'm just... And that's part of me growing in my gift, right? Just breathe and just be obedient and, and trust God and, and you really ain't got nothing to be scared of last thing um you're not alone either security it's so crazy because it's like god this is stuff i just said and he's like but you were wrong right um in the beginning okay so maybe i'm not 100 percent wrong <laughs> but in the beginning um you might not have been able to have or feel or peep or even believe in um the security and stability in the proof that your king and spouse may have been providing to you right um but you're not alone like that happened and i knew who to tell and who to ask to pray for me you get what i'm saying and i thank god that he built my confidence up like solo dolo meg but also knowing like no like he got my back in spirit too like i don't know why you thought you could come for me or try me now you got to deal with him right like <laughs> so i say all that though to say the security and the stability although at one point it may have only been coming from god it should definitely start to come in from them and from you for them right as well but we first had to believe god like i was prophesying in that post the other day and didn't know like when i told y'all like i promised because god promised i was like whoa right like so because god promised y'all and gave y'all that security and stability and ability to believe in in trickles down to y'all's ability to provide it for each other because it first came from God. Last thing, I just kind of keep hearing. Um, y'all remember the word I did on Twister? He's here, isn't he? I think some of y'all, because I had to. Just got to thank God for what's there. He, he here ain't he? like that says a lot um and i remember one day i woke up and god was like be thankful for this what's there like don't think about what's not there like be thankful for what's there and i knew he meant in the union specifically like yeah probably that overall but i knew he meant my um spouse specifically and you got to get to that place like thank god for what is here still focusing on what he wants you to do because we got work to do okay I, that's something i'm noticing in a lot of the movies and stuff i've been watching here lately too like nowhere in a movie does the girl sit around and not like live her life go to work do work like just think about how that would look right so hop to it do what you're supposed to be doing um and trust god with the rest so holy spirit did i miss anything it really is a beautiful day outside like Oh me, that would have had me messed up for a minute. Like, I texted my mom and I'm like, what is this, twitches? Like, the, it rubbed it. It was like trying to see if I was up. Like, nah, show yourself. Don't play with me. Who is this? Like, um, but I'm not the old me. I'm the new me. Period. Poo. Period. Ah, period. <laughs> I gotta leave it. I love y'all. Have a great day.